everybody, welcome to the first election of the Better States of America. Here with me is co-host Arv Dawn, who just happened to brought his brother because, you know, he's your brother. He's your brother, Arv. We all yeah. have two of us. Anyway, here we have Marco Rubio running with Senator Florida, running with Bill Cassidy, Senator of Louisiana. On the Democratic side, we have Roy Cooper, Governor of North Carolina, running with Senator John Ossoff. Here we have the purple states are our states, our states, or states that have voted with the Republicans and voted with the Democrats equal time. And the the lighter shade of red is three times R, one time D. The solid blue and solid Maybe. red are states Mommy? that yes. have voted with the Republicans or Democrats all four times. We not the stars: North Carolina and Georgia, swing states. Florida, eight, yeah, eight state, but eight, a bit more Republican. Virginia and Arkansas, swing states with the right candidate. And Texas, a. And this is polling data, the average from all, from many polling data. But. Anyway. Real clear politics, JHK, political, as well as, as the 538. Anyway, we see what the key states here. Georgia, North Carolina, Texas, and Florida. All very key states the Republicans are hoping to maintain and the Democrats hoping to flip. We now begin with our 7 p.m. poll closing. Arnold, right, take it off. Take it. Okay. Just read everything. That's what I want. Florida, E, Georgia, South Carolina, and Virginia. At our seven o'clock poll closing, remember, the E or C stands for split, or whatever letter means split. Mm -hmm. R of take this one. We now know that South Carolina has been won by... Marco Rubio. Marco Rubio. At 7, 18, you need some time. By the uh -huh. way, it's gonna always be like what time it is. Uh -huh. I'll, take an, I'll take the next one. Virginia, we now project Roy Cooper to win the victory in the state at 7.24 p.m. Eastern Time. Florida, the result is too early to call. 1% of the vote in, about 100,000 votes in, and Roy Cooper has taken an astounding a lead. Ping. 3.96% lead. Remember, this is mostly from Democratic areas. Many of them include the region of Miami Dade. Mark Rubio is expected to lose Miami Dade, but by a slightly larger margin, by a slightly larger margin than Donald Trump lost by. Georgia, R of take it. Take the Georgia. Call. Currently, Roy Cooper is leading. By currently, Roy Cooper is leading there. Okay, so we need to read the popular vote percentages, the electoral votes, uh, the percentages. The how many estimated votes are in the popular vote and the time, as well as the two earlier projections. Mm -hmm. Let's see now. And we are allowed to give you a map under a seven thing. South Carolina and Virginia being called, and Florida and state of Georgia remaining too early to be called. Uh -huh. We cannot make this. We cannot make a projection yet. Despite that, Roy Cooper has taken the lead. Our pick the 7.30 p.m. poll closing. 7.30 p.m. Cold poll closing is North Carolina. And pick North Carolina for me. That's supposed to say project. That's supposed to say too early to call, just so you know. Uh-huh. Now, take it. Currently, we are too early to call in North Carolina. With uh -huh. Marco Rubio uh -huh. is currently leading there. With 55% of the vote. It, it's and 149,684 votes. Mm -hmm. Roy Cooper, on the other hand, has 45% of the vote and 122,469 votes. The popular vote total right now is about 272,153. At 7.31 right. p.m. Eastern Time, which is 5 uh -huh. And this is our electoral map after 7.30 p.m. poll closing. No difference, except the part where Margaret will be updating the lead a Roy Cooper's home state of North Carolina. Uh-huh. 8 o'clock p.m. poll closing. R of this is a big one. Take it. 
Currently, we have Alabama, Florida, Mississippi, Tennessee, and Texas. Remember, we will not be making projections in Texas yet. As remember, only right. part of the state has been pulled close. Florida, we will be making projections pretty soon. And Alabama, Mississippi, and Tennessee mm -hmm. are going to have projections in a few minutes. Mm -hmm. It's 81 to like the time, open. and Marco Leo is the projected winner of the eight electoral votes. We're in the same counties as the predecessor of Trump, Romney, and McCain. Tennessee, 11 electoral votes at 8.05 p.m. Eastern time. Marco Leo is expected okay, to win. I'm to my this card. Uh, are as well as just, um, doing stuff. Uh, uh sorry about that. It's fine. Brothers are alive. Okay. <laughs> Mississippi, the projected winner is Marco Rubio at 8.06 Eastern Time with Six electoral votes in a state. Florida, a bit more voters in, and it's a deadlock tie. Too early to call, too close to call, with 10% of the vote in, over a million votes at 8.10 p.m. Eastern Time, a exact 50-50 tie, with each candidate getting 529,055 votes. Texas, 10% of the estimated vote is in at 8.18 p.m. Eastern Time. The lead is pretty narrow with only two point lead for Marco Rubio, who right now has about 600,000, 460,000 votes. White Cooper is at 440,000 votes. And the popular vote percentage is about, about around 900,000, 900,000 to 1 million. And it's too early to call. And by the way, Texas is the largest prize with 41 electoral votes. This is our electoral map. 34 electoral votes for Senator, for Senator Rubio, and 13 electoral votes for Governor Cooper. RF kicked at 8.30 p.m. poll closing. Sorry, I'm giving you so small. Closing, we have Arkansas currently in the poll closing. And we can easily project the state to go to you know, Marco, Marco Rubio. Rubio. Oh, we, we can both say it if you want. At 8.35 p.m. Eastern Time, increase the margin of Donald mm -hmm. Trump. Oh, what are you doing? Who is leading? Yeah, but when we be doing geography videos next? Uh, my dad's called. Uh, I'm back. Okay, so the electoral map is now 40 to 30. With the win in the state of Arkansas. 9 o'clock p.m. poll closing in Louisiana and the rest of Texas. Louisiana, we can now call for Senator Marco Rubio at 9.05 Eastern Time. Eight electoral votes. And this is our electoral map with 48 electoral votes for John, I'm sorry, Marco Rubio. And 13 electoral votes still for Roy Cooper. Florida, wow, this is this has narrowed up from two hours ago. Still, it's a bit broader than our last. Fifty percent of the estimate. Fifty-five million three hundred thousand votes. And Roy Cooper has taken a twelve-point lead with almost three million votes. Marco Rubio is still trailing with around two thousand two million three hundred thousand votes. If current trends remain the same, Roy Cooper will win Marco Rubio's home state. But Marco Rubio will win Roy Cooper's home state. Or take this. Take the Texas projection. Uh, Texas is currently... We are currently still tied. And it's too oh, early and too close to call in Texas right now. Um, Marco Rub Both Marco Rubio and Roy Cooper have 900,664 electoral votes. And both of them have 50-50. 1,801,328 votes total. By the way, you don't have to say the exact amount, just say an estimate. And with about 20% of the estimated vote in. By the way, this is supposed to be 20, not 10. Oh my goodness, votes have skyrocketed in Georgia. With 95% of the estimated in. Vote in. Roy Cooper trailing by 4%. We can. By the way, it's. 22. It's now 9.23 and a skyrocket amount of votes in from the state of Georgia. We can now land Roy uh -huh. Cooper to victory. That's because Roy Cooper is expected to stay by about 1%. That is because 
season at Marco Rubio's victory by four points. 95% of the estimated vote is in, but 95% of the vote is actually of only around 93 to 94. Hence, Roy Cooper has been able to make up the lead with more votes coming in from the counties, like, for example, DeKalb County, Fulton County, Gwinnett County, Cobb County, and Cobb County, which I've already said. So either way, it's been translated into a victory for Roy Cooper, but he's not with only 99% of the estimated vote in, as we just forgot. Um, and now our electoral map has a 48 for the Republicans, led by Marco Rubio and Bill Cassidy, and at trailing by 29, elect 29 electoral votes, we have Roy Cooper and John Alpha. The fun fact is the senator from the state of Georgia. North Carolina. And in North Carolina, 52%, I mean 95% of the voters in at 9.30, Eastern time are taking percentages and the popular vote total. Currently, we have 48% for Marco Rubio and 52% for Roy Cooper. And Roy Cooper is at around 2.7 million votes. Marco Rubio uh -huh. is at 2.5 million votes. Wow. North Carolina, we can now project Roy Cooper, this is his home state, to be the victor. Florida. Florida. We now have some new numbers in the state of Florida. 95% of the estimated vote is in. 10 million people voted. And Marco Rubio has a whopping 6-point lead. The largest of any candidate since George H.W. Bush all the way back in 1998. The only Republican to surpass him. And with that, we now project Marco Rubio to be the projected winner in the state of Florida. Yeah, by a bit larger than Trump, but being able to flip Duval County, Seminole County, Hillsborough, yeah. and Pinellas County. And this is our map, 79 plus 35. Our of take it from let's, let's do the co-stars together. All right. Okay, so the Democrats can still win, right? Right. Why? Because of Texas. See, if you take 9 plus 1 equals 0, and then, and then basically the Republicans will end up with 120 if they win the state of Texas. The Democrats win the state of Texas by, on the other hand, 35. They would have 76. Actually, we should have subjected them to the Wait, did we forget our projections? Oh yeah, we forgot something, we forgot something. We need to add the North Carolina numbers in. I know we forgot the North Carolina numbers. Okay, so, 76. Okay. 92 electoral votes. And, Aura, how many electoral uh. votes? Do you need to win? Oh, yeah. You need 270. I mean, in this election. In this election? Uh, I'll give you a hint. There are 165 electoral votes. All right. So you will need 165 in total. So you will need, um, I think, Mm. I think somewhere in the hundreds. No, you would actually need, you would actually only need 83 electoral votes to win. Wow. And so they actually still have a chance. The Democrats still have a chance at the, pre at the presidency. And for uh -huh. that may drop. Texas, with 80% of the estimated vote is in, Marco Rubio has taken a similar lead as he has taken in the state of Florida. 4 million people for Rubio, about 3 million, 3.3, about 3.4 million people for Cooper. And the 7 million people voted, and 80% of the estimated vote is in. Now for Jeff, Texas. 9.42 p.m. Eastern Time, 41 left four votes to go to Marco Rubio. And with that, we now project Marco Rubio is the victor of the Confederate States of America presidential election. 
Roy Cooper has now called to concede the race. John Austin is looking for a 2028, I mean, 2032 presidential election. Margie Taylor Green is pumping herself up. There might be a major upset, there might not. Stay tuned, find out. And thanks for watching. See you next time.